Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Vox. Tracy here. A little sheepy couldn't be seen. Hi, how are you all? All right, I hope. So, I've had an eventful week really. I've destashed lots of yarn and then two yarn quests that I've done, say three actually, have put paid to that, just put paid to it. You know, now I'm back worse than where I started. <laughs> I'm really joking. I just, um, yeah, went to the Aldi yarn event today. As today is Sunday, as you know. So I'm recording this for tomorrow. I've started doing that and you know what? It's really working out well for me. Because not only have I done that, I've done swatch videos. I've done tutorials. They've not popped up yet, but they will. One is, uh, I could have filmed it today, but I want to do it a bit bigger before I say, yes, that's the formula. So um, I'm kind of yeah finding it so much better, you know. It's kind of like all the things I used to be able to do and film, I can do them again. If only I'd had that brainwave some time ago, you know. I mean, just saying. A bit silly of me, really, not to think of it earlier. Never mind. I suppose I got there in the end. Okay. Remember when? They're very American, these remember whens. They're not really kind of English. <gasps> British. <clears throat> remember when party lines, mimeograph paper, Studebakers, wash tub ringers, reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders, penny candy and jiffy popcorn were a thing? Okay, we had party lines. Well, we had cross lines. We used to have such a lot of fun with cross lines on the telephone. I used to be terrible, always making mischief on the phone. I don't know what mimeograph paper is. I can only think of maybe carbon paper, where you can put it in between two sheets, do the top one, and it comes out again on the second. That Maybe that's what it is. Studebakers, we didn't have those. I've heard of them, though. Wash tub ringers. I used to love the... We called them mangles. I used to love the mangle. We didn't. I didn't have one for long. When I was a very, very, very small kid... Um, and I used to love turning the mangle for my mum. But, you know, then we got an electric washing machine that was kind of tw not the twin tub. She didn't do those, but she liked the front loaders. So, yeah, we had that. And then we never saw that the like again. And I always missed the mangle. thought it was cool sticking it in the mangle. Reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders, yes, remember those, but didn't have one. I had a single reel. Used to record the top 40 on the... Um, Oh, on, it was on a Saturday or a Sunday, I can't remember now. I think it's Sunday. Penny candy, yeah, remember that. And Jiffy popcorn were a thing. Don't do popcorn, don't like it. I know I'm a bit weird. Most people love popcorn, but not me. I really, really hate it. I don't understand why people like it. Because all those bits get stuck up there or, you know, in places where you really don't want to get food stuck. Especially if you're in company and you've got to like... Because you can't get it with your tongue unless you've you know, got kiss tongue or something. You know, kiss. Mm, big goal. Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, that was a different one. I always keep that little grow going at the front. Am I sad? Probably. Okay, let's go. Ooh, didn't work, did it? I've been all flamboyant. Mm, that didn't really want to rip off at all, did it? Now I've got this. Okay, um, we've got fighters, I think. I can't really work that out. No, they are. They, are they fighters? I don't know. Anyway, it's it's a still from the Mandalorian. And I've got a free little piece of rip-off for my, um, my, my pieces of paper. Which I do use. They're really actually quite cool. So, yeah, there we go. I have misbehaved. I have, I have misbehaved. I've got the other one on today. Again, it looks like I wear the same thing over and over. I really need to get more clothes. Other than, I just, when I like something, I think well, I'll have four of those. Um, they are different. They've got the lines in different places. Not that it really notices that much. But honestly, I'm not wearing the same thing over and over and over again. Hmm. I remember before, I, I bought about three or four on the top. 
And so I'd always have a clean one on, but it never looked like it. You know, it always looked like I had the same top. So I try to not to do that anymore. I try to put something on in between, but I forgot today because, you know, yeah. Lost more weight, by the way. Yeah, I've, um, you know, I don't know if you're across the pond, you don't know what I'm talking about. But in the UK, we have stones. And whatever stone you are, you want to get, it doesn't matter if it's only a pound. You want to, there's the little marker that sets the end of my bent finger. There's a little marker that says that's the stone you're on and you're here and you just want to be there because it sounds so much better being that stone than that. Even if it's only a pound, it doesn't matter. You just, you want to get the other side of it. Well, I got the other side of mine today, so I was well happy. It was only a pound. No, actually it was two, two pounds. But yeah, I'm, I'm, hey, well, hey, really happy about that. And I don't know if the bee propolis is actually helping or not. But the minute I started using the bee propolis, I lost four pounds. So it might just be that I was better on the diet. It might have something to do with it. So I'm carrying on with that every day. I put it in my morning tea, you know, after I take the bag out. Otherwise it might get sucked up into the bag and, you know. So then I just put it in. And it doesn't taste sweet or anything, so I'm fine with that. Um, I, once I run out, and it's going to take me a long while to run out because I've got three of them and you only use five drops, I will look into the um, Holland and Barrett one that I don't know who it was now, but somebody brought up there and you need two drops of that because it's stronger. So um, I might look into that one, but it depends. I just, you know, I'm getting on all right with this one. So I went to see Gary popped into where he works after I finished at Aldi but he was far too busy to do anything because sometimes I can take him out we can have a bit of lunch before he goes back to work or a pop into have a, a glass of coca-cola or something <laughs> you know well I will he'll just whatever he has I don't know shandy or something but um he was too busy he was um they'd had a really bad job and so um there was an awful lot of uh, work to do yeah, sadly, um, I won't tell you what it is because it's kind of confidential, I suppose. But yeah, they'd had a bad job and it was the aftermath of it wasn't that great for Gary. Because um, he restocks the ambulances and um, sorts them all out. Um, what else am I going to tell you? I don't know. Um, not really done much else. I was going to go and see Michael, but um, I was starving. Absolutely. I hadn't had any breakfast. I got up and I got stuck in. I wasn't hungry at all this morning. And then while I was out, as I was driving towards Aldi, I suddenly thought, hungry, really hungry now. But um, as Gary was busy and um, I just thought, oh, well, I'll go home and cook it. And I already had some sausages. I'm going to do some roast pork this afternoon. So I've got to, um, I'm going to figure out where the best place might be to cook it because... I've got two ninjas, I've got the drawer one, and I've done plenty of joints of meat in the drawer one, but I'm sitting here curling my piece of paper, <laughs> making it curly-whirly. So, um, yeah, I, I might try the oven, the, pull, the one that's like a little oven, you pull down the front, that one. I don't know why I need to do the actions when I talk, but, um, you know, I might try it in there. I might have a look and see... The best way to um to cook it i don't want it to be oh, I, I, I know i need to do it i need to cook in it the first time and to do one but i don't really want to be the experiment you know and have a a, a duff joint of beef a uh, pork sorry but um you have to do one first off don't you you just gotta try it or you'll never do but i'm always think oh i don't really want it to go a disaster <laughs> not that it should but you know so i bought lots of yarn today boy did i um so i will um do that yarn quest although i did one the other day i'll do this one first because it is the aldi one and we've been way uh eagerly anticipating aldi doing a yarn event so um i'll do that one first and then i'll do the other one after but it's working out really really well doing these videos a bit later it actually is. Um, and I didn't have to really get up and get 
get straight at it this morning. I felt a bit chilly, so I watched a bit of the news and then I thought, that's depressing. Have my shower nice and leisurely and get, get stuck in. And I get so much more work done. It's unbelievable. What did I do with my time before? Just wait for the internet, I suppose. Wait for the slow-mo internet. So I've got lots and lots of things I want to buy from my wholesalers for my shop. And I keep thinking, just wait, woman. Just wait. You can't just rush in and get loads and loads of stuff. Just wait a little while. Get a little bit more cash flow going. Then do it. So I had to kind of slow myself down. It is really a temptation just to go, oh, I want that. I want to put that in the shop. I want to get that. But I do need to be a bit more um, patient. I'm not very patient. I'm not a patient person, really. In some ways, I've got a lot of patience. In other words, uh, other ways, sorry. Very impatient. Yeah. So some of the yarn I've got today, I'm going to knit it. Mm. Not quite sure what to make yet. Um, but while I was shopping for it, a couple of things really did pop into my mind for some inspiration with it. So I'm hopefully going to do that soon. Yes, indeedy. But I've got to finish my two projects or thereabouts that are on the go at the moment. I haven't heard that Jane has received her hats yet. From I sent off a, um, a few hats for her and one for Jim. So um, I haven't heard that she's got them yet. So I don't know if they're a really good fit or not. I'm waiting for her to tell me. Because I don't want to do the tutorial for it and find that, no, they were too big. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I will do them. I will do some tutorials for chemo beanies. Um, once I know, really, if I can remember how I did it. I'm sure I wrote it down somewhere. Well, I probably did. Yeah, I'm sure I did. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of really happy at the moment. Um you know, it's uh, life is going quite well. I've been worry when it gets to that stage and you think something's going to happen. I know it is. Everything's going. There's even a Nickelback song. Something's got to go wrong because I'm feeling way too good. Yeah, it's kind of that thing. And then there's another one, you know, that, that comes to be when there's soothing light at the end of your tunnel. It's just a freight train heading your way. That's Metallica. I love those lyrics, but let's hope not. Let's hope it's the nothing's going to go <laughs> go wrong. I can't sing it. I'm not really that tone deaf. It's just that if I sing it, you know what? I get into all kinds of trouble with YouTube, -y, which annoys me in a way because I often see those videos where they do the reactions, you know, and they'll they'll play a song to someone and supposedly get their reactions for the first time. <gasps> you know, <sighs> so fake. Anyway, when when they do those, how come they don't get stuck with <laughs> like um, being hit with oh, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Copyright. Why don't they? A little while ago, I heard that there was apart from um, YouTube and AdSense, that there was another way of uploading and getting paid for your YouTube and that YouTube couldn't police it. So maybe it's that, which I can't imagine. YouTube letting anyone get away with that because of all this copper, copa business, you know, where things made for kids, not made for kids. They've got to have a, you know, you think they'll have a massive handle on everything, really. But yeah, I often see lots of music stuff, not by the actual artists. And you think, how can you get away with it then if I can't even get away with singing something? So consequently, I have to sing it in a tone deaf manner. That's my excuse for having a really poor voice. <laughs> my kids are the singers, really. I can hold a tune. Which is more than their dad could. Their dad was dreadful. Absolutely the worst. <laughs> yeah, he was. So, obviously, they get all their talent from me. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm going to get off and upload this one. Um, I've got to go and put the joint of pork on. I've still not decided which place to cook it. Uh, the only thing I know I can't do now is a slow cooker, so it's going to either be one ninja or another. 
Although my lamb that I did was really nice in the slow cooker. And then I finished it off in, in the Ninja to kind of get it all crunchy at the ends. It was lovely. But this is, this is pork. And I want to try the other Ninja that I haven't really given much attention to. The only one thing that I've cooked in the one that looks like an oven where you pull the drawer down, basically, um, is pizza, toast and muffins. That's it. Oh, no, I did some sausage rolls at Christmas. So I have used it a little bit for, um, you know, cooking. And that wasn't just reheating and that was cooking them. Oh, and I did some cinnamon swirls in there as well. So I have baked in it, but I haven't roasted anything. Um, it's got roasting tins, so I should really, you know, was it break its duck, bite the cherry off, all those things and see what it does. And if I like it. So thank you for watching me. Spending your morning with me. Or your afternoon. Wherever it is. And having your cup of tea. I would have brought one in. But I just had one. And well I just had two actually. So I thought I better not have another one. Um, but yeah. Thank you very much. I will see you on the next one. Watch out for the Aldi Yarn Quest. See you on the next one. Bye for now.